Hey there everyone, this is Yui. Welcome to episode 13 of Antimatter Chemistry. Today we're going to continue with a few uh, farm automations. Oop, scary cave noise. So uh, let's get into it. There's only a few extra things we'll get this time. Mainly uh, selenium, thallium, palladium, and a little bit of lithium. So here's the materials that I'm going to use. We're going to set up three different farms. I already have two of them set up, but I'm going to make another one. I just know how this is going to set up, so I'm going to put my power in these spots because they're going to go right next to the planters. And, oh, and I totally forgot the range upgrades. Let's see if I made any. Not like it's very hard to make them, but let's see here. Range. I did. Too bad they don't stack up with each other. Let's just put them in my bag. Range. I need six. There we go. So we'll give each of these a range upgrade. And then, where is it? We'll give this guy here, can be nether wart. So nether wart will get you selenium. Actually, we'll just put all that in there. This one here can be redstone, using the red orchids. Go in there. And then this one back here can be palm. So redstone, if you break it down, you don't really get anything new, but you need redstone blocks for the singularity. So I would recommend just making a redstone farm and having them go into a compacting drawer, and you'll be good to go. Alright, so next I'm going to lay down a few pipes. This will be for the harvesters, or the gat. what are they called? Gatherer, to return the seeds or the saplings to the planters. And then the excess will go into an ender chest. Now, The only issue is going to be these orchids. So actually, I'm going to take away this block. Go back over here. We're going to make a trash can. And a filter. We already have one, so we'll just use that one. So the, uh, you can't break down these orchids if you get uses on them. Not much you can do with them. But once you have a bunch of them, you really don't need to stockpile them. So we're going to whitelist the red orchid. We're going to place the trash can down. Put the filter in there so now it shouldn't accept any other item. Like I can't put the dirt in but I can put in the red orchid. And since this is going to be set to nearest first, it'll try putting in the plant sower. Oh, this isn't going to work. So let's move this. Since the chest and the trash can were equal distance away, it would randomly pick, I think. There, that'll fix the problem. So now I'll go to the plant sower, then the trash can, then the ender chest. And now all these ender chests, since this is, I don't want the resources from them, I want them to be broken down. I'm going to link this to my chemical dissolving color, which is all green. 
And the orchids won't go in there, so we'll be all good there. Now we can put down gatherers. So I can put the servos on. We'll put those in there while we're at it so I don't forget. And the last one. Go. And then servos. And we don't need to do anything special with them, just export them. Or turn the redstone on. Ignored. There, okay. Now we can ditch some of this other stuff. We don't need these, and we don't need... Uh, well, whatever. We don't need the sewers either. All right, this one needs redstone, which you can get with silk touch, or if your laser's been running for a while, it'll pick some up. And as I put them down, it'll start doing its thing. Let's see. I'm going to leave this middle one blank. That way I can put a growth crystal there. Oh, that's the wrong stuff. That's what I get for using silk touch all the time. I need regular redstone. Oh, I'm running low. There we go. And then I want to put one of these growth crystal tier threes because they're faster. So these are just pretty much a bunch of nether stars, plus a few potions of swiftness. So each four, no, it's just one. Each one of these is a nether star. And then if you're not getting the growth crystals from your mob farm, there are another two nether stars for that. And if you don't get the basic ones, that's even, oh, no, no nether stars there. But they have sea lanterns, which are annoying because you got to pulverize prismarine. All right, I'm just going to put these down since we know we're going to keep them. Put the rest away. This one back here should be the palm. So this will get dirt. This would be a good time for a builder's wand, but, you know, I'm already here. And then lastly, we need soul sand, because this will be the nether wart. we need to give these outer guys some power well actually not lastly almost lastly we need to um, set up those tanks we need do I have any transfer nodes left yes do I have an anvil in here good and then we need some cocoa. I have three. All brown is my color for sludge. And we 
put that away and then transfer nodes. Oh, we're done with dirt, we're done with that. There we go. Now these have a tendency to glitch if you just right click on it, so hold shift and right click when you put these on. Otherwise it'll still work, but if I just right click you'll notice now I still have six in my inventory, but I used three out of eight. It's, so it's not until there, see now it dropped down to five. We'll just put the sludge things in and then that'll take care of most of oh redstone my bad we don't want redstone going to the dissolver we want redstone going to storage there we go so we need redstone. We don't need the we don't need its chemical components. So next thing I'm going to set up is going to be a simple exporter. Uh, no, not an exporter. Well, I might. I have so much palm wood already. The other option is just put all that stuff in storage and make an exporter. But since I have two redstone farms now and two palm farms, there's no no need. Let's see here. I need these. And then, actually, no, I don't because I have one. We're going to need more transfer things, I think. Power. Solvers, chess. Okay. Yeah, we'll see if that's good. Let's grab this stuff. So now the. Sludge Show me You can use sludge to make clay dirts and Most importantly you can make soul sand So it's when you're running your farms you'll get a byproduct of soul sand Which will be good I'm just going to set up, uh, over here is good, I guess, let's see, chunk loaded, we'll go here, and sure, I need red, go, I just wanted to, Increase the amount of dissolvers running. Go. Uh, no, we're gonna move this. Super. Okay, so. That way we can have inputs on one side and outputs on the other. And that one. To worry about it conflicting. Yeah, this needs to be green, which should have some random junk, which goes right now. It's hooked up upstairs, but we're gonna move it down here. Well, I'm gonna keep it both. This needs to be round robin. There we go. Split the load. And then I need another servo. I'll just set up four. We can set up the other ones later. Alright, so that'll take care of breaking down the materials from the farm. And now we need to set up this guy, a sludge refinery. It's a pretty simple recipe. This is what's going to make, uh, turn your sludge into resources. There's no other good use for sludge, so it needs to be red. All right. 
So we'll just put this... Yeah, here's good. I'm just going to drop the tank on top of it. And if you see this blue and orange, that's input and output mode. If you right click it, it'll switch to orange on top, which means it'll push liquids into the block. So it's an easy way of, without using a transfer thing, just to get it going. And we'll put this, there you go, see? So now, actually, you know what? I don't like it there. I'm going to put it right over here. Where'd it go? Here? Sure. Tank. I want... Actually, I don't really need any of this right now. You cannot break down mycelium. Let's go with transfer nodes. Since I'm out of servos, and I don't think I have platinum left because I keep making a bunch of servos. Yeah, it's very slowly rebuilding. We'll go with transfer nodes, transfer pipes, and a couple filters. And then. Oh, you need more power. Uh, one, two, here. Yeah, that'll work. That'll cover all the machines. Oh, switch you. There we go. Just take a piece of that soul sand, set up the two filters. This one will be whitelist soul sand. This one will be blacklist sand. I'll put it side. Nope. Oh, only can take soul sand. And you can not take soul sand. If you want to break down the dirt and stuff, feel free to route it over that way. There. A jumbled mess. But it should work. Here, to make it a little more noticeable, we'll turn this one off. Because I have it set up here also. And then there. So the ingredients come in, they get dissolved, they get thrown in the chest. Back to storage. I'm going to probably set up an exporter to go to this chest that will export some of the compounds and some of the other stuff. We don't need like cellulose and stuff like that. And then this will just keep going from the farms. So, like I said, it's not the fastest, but it'll uh, get your stuff eventually. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.